What is up dudes, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and in today's video we are here with the more creepers mod, this mod actually adds like, a, I think like 18 new creepers maybe, and I've also threw in some extras like the mutant creeper, because why not, I don't know, if, if you're somehow on this channel and don't know about the mutant creeper, then uh, I don't know what you're doing, but basically today this mod adds a whole bunch of brand new creepers, let's go ahead and enter the lab here, and uh, Happer isn't here because we're just gonna be blowing up everything, and the entire lab's probably gonna be just destroyed by the end of this video but in here we have a whole bunch of brand new creepers to try out in today's video so i'm just grab all of them really quick and a diamond sword as well because i know for a fact we're probably going to die uh let's just go ahead and spawn in the normal creeper to compare things let me just set this as my spawn point uh i probably need to set world spawn as well because i know my spawn point is probably going to absolutely get destroyed so uh let's just go ahead and spawn in the normal creeper hello creeper uh how are you so you know this is the normal creeper and all that they just, they just walk up to you and then kaboom you die so i mean yeah it's pretty strange forward. Well, let's go ahead and try out our first special creeper today, which is the rocket creeper. As you can see, this is the rocket creeper. It's faster than a normal creeper, and what this thing does is that it, get, it just, boom, it leaps up into the air, and then explodes you. Let's do it again, because that was cool. And also, one more thing I forgot to mention is that I think you can actually hit it mid-air while it's, uh, like, lo 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 look at this. Hold on. Can you, can you just, hey, come here, come here. All right, there you go. Okay, you can hit it mid-air while it's doing that, and then you can actually change its direction while it's, uh, in mid-air, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, once you kill this thing, I believe it drops gunpowder and a, uh, firework star, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has gunpowder and a chance to drop a firework star. Which, fun fact, the firework star is completely useless since it doesn't have anything on it, so... It's kind of useless. But anyways, the next creeper is the festive creeper. Uh, what this creeper does is that it'll throw TNT at you. And fun fact, if you can get it to, uh, run at you and, like... If, if you can get it to run at you while it's throwing TNT, you can make the, uh, festive creeper actually kill itself on its own TNT. Because it'll tend to, um, run into its own TNT like a complete dummy. So let's just... Yep, there you go. Okay, well, that did not work at all. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and take out this festive creeper really quick. Anyways, and also at half health, to will start leaving fire trails everywhere, which can get pretty annoying. But, as you can see, you drop three gunpowder and TNT. So the festive creeper is pretty cool and our next creeper is the support creeper which if you don't know what this does we go ahead and throw in a normal creeper right here and get the support creeper to actually work gosh dang it it's doing this again ah frick frick okay we need to i think i think i need to harm the support creeper or something what do i what do i even do for the support creeper i don't know okay yep yeah, by the way at half health it'll start approaching you and it'll blow up and uh yeah it's supposed to leave like a trail of uh what's it called like it's supposed to leave, leave like a potion effect of area with uh lots of positive effects but it didn't for some reason so Let's just spawn in the normal creeper and then a support creeper at the same time. There you go. As you see, this support creeper will charge this creeper and give it fire resistance as well. Because once this creeper's on fire, I believe that it uh, blows up with fire all around it. And as you can see, it got the giant fire like protection trail. And hey, it dropped the creeper head. That's pretty cool. But um, as you can see, I got a lot of fire resistance from that little creeper explosion. And, um, yeah, so the next creeper is the creeper minion. Let's just go ahead and throw in the creeper minion right there. Hello, buddy. This is the one that you'll see in, um, this is the one that you see in the mutant creeper whenever he summons his minions. Uh, the next creeper is the doom creeper. This is a very, very strong creeper, which, uh, if it blows up, you're probably going to die because it just leaves a giant trail of harming and withering, which is extremely powerful. Our next creeper is the dark creeper. Actually, you know, I want to save the dark creeper for last since it'll actually take out light sources near you and we don't need our light to get destroyed immediately. Our next creeper is the death creeper, which as you guess, if it just walks off, no matter how far away you are, this thing does extra damage, but less explosions. So it's a very, very deadly creeper. Our next creeper is the dirt creeper, which uh, as you guess, if you walk up to, if, if, if it goes ahead and explodes, it's supposed to leave dirt everywhere, but it didn't. So if I go ahead and do game rule mob griefing true and um, just let this thing explode really quick. All right, dirt creeper. And then as you can see, it'll leave dirt everywhere. And, uh, it could be pretty freaking annoying, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that one up here. Our next creepers are the, um, Ender Creeper, which the Ender Creeper can be pretty, uh, it can, can be pretty tricky, because if you look at it directly, it will start teleporting, and then it'll try and get you with its, like, random teleportation stuff, so, yeah, you'll need to be a little bit careful and wary once you look at it, because then it'll, like, go near you and then blow up and, uh, try and kill you. I don't know if this Ender Creeper actually drops anything different. It might? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. The thing has 40 health, though, so it can be, it can be a bit of an annoyance, so let's see where this is creeper spawned exactly. Oh, he's outside. Hold on, let me just break out. It's outside really quick. There you go. Let's just go ahead and hit it a few times. Where where to go? There, there you are, Ender Creeper. Let's just hit it one more time. And as you can see, it'll drop Ender Pearls and really cool stuff like that. Um, 
Our next creeper is the drowning creeper, which this is a very, very deadly creeper if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have a pickaxe and you're gonna probably die from it because it'll just lock you in this giant cobblestone water building kind of deal. And, uh, if you can't escape in time with a pickaxe, then you're probably gonna die. But I didn't bring a pickaxe, so we're just gonna break out of here instead because, uh, I'm literally just gonna guarantee, I'm, I, I will die for, for granted. Like, there's, there's no way you're breaking out of this if you don't have a pickaxe. And, uh, our next creeper is the splitting creeper, which if it walks up to you, it will blow up and then split into a whole bunch of other mini creepers which only have like 20 health, so they're not as deadly. But they can do some damage, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, and did I mention the trap creeper it has a chance to spawn in as silverfish cobblestone? Oh my gosh, we gotta get out of this lab, dude. There's just like so much, there's so much silverfish nearby and all that. And by the way, I'm pretty sure all these creepers can actually charge as well, which is pretty neat. Um... I guess since we're exiting the lab, I guess we could go ahead and try out the dark creeper now. Let's just walk back into the lab really quick and just throw this thing down. All right, blow up really quick. I got I got silverfish around me. But as you see, the dark creeper will leave a trail of blind, blindness, and it also leaves uh, a little like uh, or it actually destroys all light sources near it. So that's gonna be pretty annoying. Our next creeper is the ah this this, this, this silverfish frick. Okay, you know what? You just kill me really quick because I need my health back. Uh, our next creeper is the oh my gosh, why is my game so laggy? Whoa, whoa, this isn't normal. Oh my gosh, am I? The game is so loud all of a sudden. Our next creeper is the Grapple Creeper. Oh my gosh, this is a boss Grapple Creeper. And, uh, if you don't know what these boss Grapple Creepers do, the bosses make the Creeper explosions more deadly and big. So I wonder if that'll make even more Grapple go everywhere. Yep, that looks like a dead. As you can see, it's scattered Grapple everywhere. And uh, that had a little bit more explosion power than it normally would because it was a boss Creeper. Our next Creeper is the Jumping Creeper, which I'm actually not entirely sure what this thing does. So I'm getting some screenshots with the thumbnail really quick, if you don't mind. Uh, our next Creeper... Oh, Oh yeah, this is the jumping creeper, by the way. I'm not exactly sure what this thing does. It doesn't. It 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 does. It didn't really jump. It just kind of. I think the creeper might actually be broken. Maybe I don't know because I, I I'm not exactly sure what this jumping creeper is supposed to do. Uh, oh god, I gotta jump back here. Uh, let's just. I want to see what it'll actually drop if you defeat it. I'm just. Oh my gosh, this thing is super deadly. Oh, okay, yep, that there there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> I jumped all the way down. What the flip? Hey, come here, come here, come here. Okay, there you go. I killed the jumping creeper and it dropped not nothing much really. Um. Oh gosh, there's a silverfish like throwing some uh, dude, what, what, what is, hello, is that a boss silverfish out here? I think there is. My game is so laggy whenever I'm near the area, so I'm just gonna not go over there. Instead, I will go to uh, this house instead, because I'm gonna kill my entire house for some reason. You know, let's just spawn a creeper in the house, because why not? Uh, we have a lightning creeper now. Let's just uh, throw you down and oh god, it's gonna blow up everything. <laughs> I threw it. He just, he's gonna burn my entire house down. Oh gosh, why did I do that? That was a horrible idea. Our next creeper is the mini creeper, which as as you guess comes from the uh, little splitting creeper and uh, it's just kind of like a very very small creeper the next creeper is a fire creeper which let me tell you a forest is not the best place to throw down a fire creeper but uh, screw it because we're gonna I'm, I'm just gonna lag my game out with fire and now we're here with the final creeper the mutant creeper this one actually isn't part of the mod but it's actually part of the um, mutant creepers mod but I decided it'd be pretty good to show off in the in the mod showcase because you know why not all right here we go mutant creeper hello buddy uh, you are very very big and um, as you guess this is a little bit of like a boss creeper let's just uh come on i need to i need to like chop down all this stuff all right you need to chop ah frick it's like pecking me or something what, what is this thing i'm gonna walk away from this thing actually it's probably gonna kill me uh let's just throw with this one right here and as you see this is the mutant creeper it can peck you blow you up all that stuff and uh it's very ah frick i'm falling let's just throw in another one here uh, uh, as you can see it's very big and it, it's it's break dancing in the middle of the lab right now what 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 is this thing doing and then uh, i think it also has a chance to do like an explosion leap it could shoot minion creepers at you it's but it's by far one of the most deadliest creatures in this entire mod pack, but uh, if I were to go ahead and give myself, you just, let me just go into game mode one real quick. If I were to go ahead and give myself the god sword and then go back to game mode zero and uh, jump down here and kill this thing really quick, as you can see, it'll actually do an explosion which will draw you in. I'm not even moving right now, and then probably destroy you. There's so much silverfish. One of them have a fishing rod. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh my gosh, this. Oh my gosh, I need to get out of here. There's like some some of these creeper, some of these silverfish are trying to fish me up there's that little baby minion creeper thing i was talking about and the and these uh mutant creepers also have a chance to like heal you up or like they can heal themselves up at a certain time they can even charge themselves uh with a chance but 
Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video of the more creepers mod. Very, very chaotic, especially the drowning creepers. It's, it does like a whole silverfish spawn egg thing. Look at my house! My house! No, look what the meat creeper did to it, man. Or actually the lightning creeper. The lightning creeper. My house is just gone. Like, I know, I'm going to have to move out. No, I'm kidding. I have a world back up. I can just restore it, luckily. But this is a very chaotic mod. And um, yeah, it's going to be all for today's video. If you liked, make sure to leave a like. Dislike if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you want more content like this. More mod reviews, Roblox, you name it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>